about a very quick video. I haven't done much videoing because um, I've been busy taking lots of photos of various parts of Canterbury Cathedral mainly. Um, some of the historic buildings in the town as well. I had a naughty um, chicken thing. Uh, chicken, not, not, you're not nuggets. Um, king, not King Burger. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what you call them. But... Uh, and then I thought, I've been walking, I've walked into town earlier and I've walked back and I've just stopped off at um, a very, very old church that was here before the Normans. Not exactly like it is now, but it was, there's always been a church here, St. Martin's. It's not open at the moment because it's late now. There's a lot to see here in um, Canterbury. There's a, there's a the huge abbey I've got to go round, which I didn't realise. Um, I've been, I, I, fortunately, um, I went into the cathedral when it was relatively um, quiet because it was after four o'clock and it's, they were still letting people in, but normally they charge you £12 um, unless you're going in to pray or anything. Uh, well, I, I, of, I often go in churches to light a candle and say a few words. I don't know if you call it praying. But anyway, these are some beautiful gardens that are attached very close. I haven't explored at all. Uh, remembering that I've, I travelled today. I was travelling for six to seven hours on different motorways. And I've walked from the campsite as well. So, and I'm walking back. I'm trying to pack in as much as I can. See, there's all walks all down there and... got various images of the cathedral as well. Well, I'll t this apple tree is amazing. Massive apples on it. It reminds me of Newton. And this, this is a quite a small apple, actually, this one. But some um, cookers, cooking apples, I think. This is Canterbury Christ Church University grounds. But look at all these apples up there. And there's a huge one down there. I've taken a picture of it. It's gone rotten, but it's massive. It really is big. So here's a here's a car park. Um, private car park. Vehicles parked at owner's own risk. But that is an amazing apple tree. That is amazing apple on it. Really big apples. I wasn't expecting to see it being like available just like that, you know, it's as if to say, well, help yourself if you want, if you want some apples. And then we've got um, the Tudor Garden. I don't know if we're allowed in there. I'm just going to wander back round the graveyard again because I've got to get back before dark. Yeah, it's dark about oh, seven now. There's so much to see here. I mean, look at this little cottage. Grounds and gardens manager. Probably a little office in there, I spat. And it's quite an old building, you can tell. The old stone wall. There's St. Martin's Church. There's even another car park down here. Priory cottages. <clears throat> There's just so much to see round here, to be quite honest. And what's this down here? Oh, St. Martin's the Priory there. There's people in the graveyard, so I probably won't be saying a lot. I'm just going to go around doing a video. So I might not get time. There's so much to see. I've only really got three days. And I've got to fit Dover Castle. Um, I've got to fit in um, 
the White Cliffs of Dover. <sighs> Need a week here. Six months here. Mr. John Austin. I wonder if you related to Jane Austen or not. Hmm, <sighs> no, 1746 she died. I noticed there's quite a few yew trees in this churchyard as well. And massive graves, massive. <sighs> Hopefully it will be open one. I don't know if it will, but I expect there's quite famous people in this graveyard. There's an awful lot of graves and I've been up the top and took some lovely pictures of the cathedral from the top. Yeah, I've been up there, there's um, a Baskerville grave up there. There's a Baskerville grave. You can tell it's really old, old pebble, pebble dash, can't you? There's another U there. It's another massive U. Yeah, there's so much to see, you know. So much to see. There's bound to be people that are well known in this graveyard. I just spotted this little hedge over here. I wondered what it was, so I thought I'd come and have a quick look. Oh, I thought it was some special feature. It's not, it's, for, it's a compost heap. I've been all up over there, but there's people up there, so it's difficult to video, really. There's a bone there. Look. That's a bone there. Could be human. The reason I'm videoing it is because it is so old. And it probably got relevance to... It was bit, probably here before the Abbey and the Cathedral, you see. It was here before either of them. There's a mental hospital up the road as well. Like the, like Moorhaven, and still used as a mental hospital, and it's still got the same buildings. <laughs> it hasn't been closed down yet. <sighs> right, the camera's doing very well. I'm glad I've managed to do a small video of St Martin's. Um, I'm trying to pack a lot in, really. When I do that, sometimes it comes out bitty. I did a couple of videos inside the cathedral. I'll try and get back in there again and do some more along the corridors. <sighs> Widow of George White, late of the city of Canterbury, Eliza. Yes, yeah, a very old church. I've got to start making my way back. This is the trouble now, um, but we haven't got the um, the late evenings. Right now, through there, 
I can get through. There's the cathedral part of it anyway. Unlike Wells Cathedral, it's not showing up that way, hold on. There we are, look. Wells has got like a double tower like that. That one's got that one and a smaller one, or it could be that it's all covered up with scaffolding. I've got lots of images taken earlier. Uh, so St Martin's Church built originally was built in Roman times 597 AD. It was St Augustine's first base for a successful mission to bring the good news of Jesus Christ to the Anglo-Saxons. He went on to establish the Abbey and the Cathedral, which with St Martin's now make up the Canterbury World Heritage Site. He became the first arch Archbishop of Canterbury. After more than 1,400 years, St Martin still welcomes you for worship and prayer. On the east side of the city, there's an old church in honour of St. Martin, built during the Roman occupation, where the Queen, who was a Christian, was accustomed to pray. Bede, AD 731. The Christian princess Bertha came from Tours in France about 580 AD to marry the pagan Ethbert, Ethelbert, who became King of Kent. Yeah, I've, I've taken some, some photos of their statues in town. They've got some statues with them reaching out to each other. There's also um, a city wall that I want to walk. There's an awful lot to do here. My pilgrimage is working, turning out to be quite successful in the end. That's it. That's it, folks. Over and out.